Did you feel that from the start? I mean, did you come out and, and in the first quarter think we have we have an opportunity to do something good today? Oh yeah, we uh, first drive you know went down there and scored. You know that that was good. I think we did pretty good. What about the quarterback position, what did you see from Paul Millard today that you liked? Oh, he played pretty good. I, mean, I, was, I think thought he was uh, very comfortable back there. He did, did a great job. You've obviously worked with Dana before. How's, how's his play calling the same, different, anything from, from when you guys were together at, at Houston? Uh, it's mostly the same, you know, just different terminology and stuff. But just a lot of stuff you got to catch on to. You know, I had to learn a lot of different terminology and you know, I had to learn how to uh, work from the C-back, you know, because uh, Houston was mostly in the A and B position. Mm-hmm. Is this what you expected in your first game as Mountaineer? Uh, I was ready for anything. I was just ready for anything. I was just prepared for anything. I just was happy to be out there and, you know, get going with the team. Thanks, Charles. So how do you build on this then? I mean, you guys are heading into uh, into Oklahoma now. I mean, what do you take out of this that you guys did well? What do you want to improve on heading into next weekend? So you? I uh, just want to improve on the mistakes you made. You know, we had a couple of mistakes. I think we can correct. Just going to go into what we start tomorrow. Just watch film and go over the mistakes you made and correct them. So, yeah. Charles, is that a little bit unusual for you? I mean, 22 carries, you're used to oh, carrying them like 10 times and catching five or six passes. Or I didn't even realize I had 22 carries. I was just going with the flow of the game. I was just basically having fun. I was having fun. Mm-hmm. Did you feel like a workhorse now? You know what they? You know what those guys feel like now? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. I just, you know, I'm just going with the flow of the game. You know, once, there, once I get tired, you know, tell me how many. Got another guy coming in. Mm-hmm. Did you ever tap somebody else in, or, or uh, did they just do that it got, for it you? Got, it got to a point of the game I did. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was hotter today than in training camp, right? Well, it felt pretty good. I felt pretty good. No, I'm, I'm used to being <laughs> in, in 105 heat, so it felt pretty good. What did you see on that first touchdown run where you had to make a couple moves and nobody laid a hand on you? Oh, I just saw the end zone. <laughs> I was just trying to get to the end zone. Just trying to get to the end zone, man. Just trying to make plays. What was strange about today? I mean, your new place, new uniform. Playing in new... front of 60,000 players. That's, that's what was unusual to me. <laughs> that was crazy to me. But... I love I mean, it, you guys drew like the Astros down there, huh? Uh-huh. You guys drew like the Astros down there, huh? <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. What do you think next week's going to be like with 80 at Oklahoma? Oh, be ready. We're just going to, you know, go into tomorrow and just correct the mistakes you made, you know, get the team together, you know, get, them, get them ready for Oklahoma. Who's the first person you're going to call or, or talk to after this ball game tonight, man? Who are you going to uh, I'm going to call, call my mother. I'm going to call my mother. Was she able to watch back? back yeah, home? she was able, able to watch. Okay. You know, I got on the locker room, man, like... 50 text messages. So. <laughs> you have a chance to read any of them? Oh, uh, not yet. Okay. I will when I get home, though. Was this easy or hard to start over again, so to speak? Uh, it was a uh, fight. I wouldn't say easy, but just going with the flow. Just going with the flow. I mean, it wasn't just another game, though. Was it? No, it wasn't uh, just another game, though. You know, they played pretty good. And that was solid, so. It was a tough Was it weird going to the locker room down by ten when you know everyone's expecting you guys to, to cruise today? Um, that, th- those games happen, you know. Just gotta know how to fight through adversity. Mm-hmm. You know, how to come back, you know, keep a straight, straight head, and just you know, go out and compete. Yeah, Paul said he was just making sure everyone stayed yeah. confident and didn't get rattled because I guess you know obviously things can get sideways and. I start panicking a little uh, bit. What what did you see in the locker room at halftime? Uh, everything everything was calm. You know, didn't want anybody to panic. You know, didn't want anybody to you know feel like they didn't have a chance. But we always had a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Man.